home, Frizzle. I'm home. We were beginning to think we might never see you again, Shaila. I was certain I would never see your face again, Avinda. Why is that? Because of that man. Castillo? Yes. What, what happened with him? He dragged me out when he escaped. He threatened to kill me if I made a sound. So he took you hostage? Yes. Where did he take you? I do not know. As we started across the desert, he blindfolded me. And how did you escape from him? Well, the further we got from here, the weaker he became. And finally he collapsed, and I ran. But do you think he faltered because he was away from the stone? I do not know about these things, Ofendo. I simply know that when my captor was unable to go on, I hurried back to my master as soon as I could. But if you came back here from where he took you, how could you not know where you were? I told you, he tied a scarf around my eyes. I could not see. A scarf which you removed when you escaped and found your way back here? Yes, I came back to you. You came back to tell me these lies? These are not lies! Where is he? Where is Castillo? I don't know! You're a liar and a traitor, Shayla. And it's a very, very, very simple method to make someone tell the truth. Now you will tell me everything. You got yourself a deal. Oh, we can never get past the Pasha's men. I got no, that's all his men. They're here. The, this woman, she came in. She uh, collapsed. She was a prisoner Wait, or something. One of his wives, Shayla. How did you know? Oh my God, it's a long story. No, Michael, we can't go. We don't even know what tent Cruz is in. But Cruz isn't here. All right, the what? Sheikh kidnapped him. He's using him as a bargaining chip in their war. Now, I got to get you out of here so we can figure out a way to get in to him. No, no, wait a minute. What? I have a better plan to get Cruz back. You just wait here, okay? Where are you going? To speak to the Pasha. Guards, I want to speak to the Pasha now. Please. Leave us, Mrs. Castillo. This does not concern you. Oh, but it does because you lied to me. I did not. Yes, you did. You said you were holding my husband, and you aren't. I know where Cruz is, and I know where the talisman is. So it seems I have all the answers to your questions. Are you now going to consider my offer? You think Cruz and the talisman are the only things that can help you, but I'm the only one who knows where they are. And I'll tell you if you accept my offer. To bear my soul for the amusement of American television viewers? No, to attract the support for a just cause. And you will tell your side of the conflict. To stop the Sheikh by putting him in the glare of public attention. But you have to move soon because time is running out. In Kharif, I am the one who decides if we have much time or little time. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just urging you strongly to understand that international news coverage could help you a lot more than even Cruz could. And you would have all the bases covered. The talisman, the shaman, and the media. You are a dangerously persuasive woman, Mrs. Castillo. But have I persuaded you? I can't help recalling that the last time I was allowed to be persuaded by you, I ended up with a large and painful lump on my head. That won't happen again. My word that I won't hit you again, as long as you let me keep talking. Your tongue may be your most dangerous weapon. You know, you may not realize it yet, but I am your greatest ally. In Kharifin, we have a saying, beware the hero who arrives tooting his own horn. I translate freely. I'm not a hero. No, you would be called a heroine, which is a word that is not used in our language. But that reminds me of another old adage, which says, Give the advice of a woman the same weight you would a bubble floating on air. I'm sure that must have been invaluable in your Harvard days. No, I kept a very low profile regarding my country's attitude toward women. As a matter of fact, I had several women friends who were good companions and intellectual equals. Surprise, surprise. How did you reconcile that with your traditional views? I thought of them as men. I, uh, I had no emotional involvement with them, nor was I attracted to them physically. They were chums. But it's not the case with you. 
Oh, I see. Because you're attracted to me, my opinion is considered worthless. Oil and water do not mix. All I am asking you to do is set aside your prejudice against my sex, your feelings for me, and, and, and weigh this proposal on its own merits. You must realize what world attention could accomplish. So you're saying, in your view, Kharif would be put on the map? Before the Sheikh of Kabir wipes you off of it. I will make my decision once my council reviews your proposition and advises me. You know, forgive me for being blunt. Maybe you're used to it, I don't know, but I don't really exactly trust your advisors. I think they're much more interested in their own, I don't know, in, their, in themselves than the good of your country. Now you impugn the loyalty and devotion of my advisors? Now listen. No, no. This impertinence knows no, no bounds, listen, woman. Listen, Nang, you're doing this again. I'm only trying Be to... Be still! I do not care to hear any more from you at the present. <laughs>